Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you are all doing fine. First of all, I would like to apologize for such a long delay in uploading the videos from much to coding question series. So from today onwards, I will be uploading the videos regularly as well as I will make sure to complete the series as soon as I can. So our today's video or our today's question on linked list is flattening a linked list which states that given a linked list of size n where every node represents a sub linked list and contains two pointers the first one is a general next pointer and we have an additional bottom pointer each of the sub linked list is in sorted order and we have to flatten the linked list such that all the nodes appear in a single level while maintaining the sorted order let's have a look at the example so in this particular example we have four sub linked list which are originating from 5 10 19 and 28 so the main linked list which is 5, 10, 19, 28 is sorted in ascending order as well as the sub linked list are also sorted in ascending order. So we need to merge or flatten this linked list into a single linked list which can be accessed through the bottom pointer and the final linked list must be sorted in ascending order. So that the bottom pointer of 5 will be pointed to 7, 7 to 8, 8 to 10, 10 to 19, 19 to 20 and so on. So that a final output would look somewhat like 5, 7, 8, 10, 19, 20 and rest of the numbers in sorted order. So now let's have a look at the approach to solve this particular problem. The intuition behind solving this problem is merge sort or merging of two sorted linked lists. So if you haven't watched my video on merging of two sorted linked lists, I highly recommend you to watch it first. The video is linked down in the description below, you can check it out. So now let's proceed with this particular video. As we can see we have a linked list which consists of sub linked list attached to it. The right side of the screen shows the algorithm where we have a function called flatten whose argument is the root node. So we create two pointers namely h1 and h2. We point h1 to the root node and we check for the condition whether if h1 of next is not equal to null which is true. So we assign h2 as h1 of next. So h2 points to the node 10. We make h1 of next as h2 of next that is the node 5 will now point to 19 instead of 10. And then we call the function sorted merge with the arguments as h1 and h2. So now let's see what happens in the function sorted merge. First we create two pointers namely h or t or head or temporary as well as we create an integer variable called flag and assign it to 0. Then we check for the condition whether if both h1 and h2 are not null. Since this condition is true therefore we are in a if condition where we check whether if h1 of data is less than h2 of data. Since phi is less than 10 therefore we update the value of h and t as h1 that is h and t now points to the node 5 and we update the value of h1 as h1 of bottom so now h1 points to the node 7 and we update the value of flag as 1 again we check for the same condition where h1 and h2 are both not null again we check whether if 7 is less than 10 which is true this time flag is not equal to 0 so we are in a else part where we update the value of t on bottom as h1 and t is equal to t of bottom. So now t points to 7 and we update the value of h1 as h1 of bottom. So h1 points to the node 8. Similarly we check the condition once again. We check whether if 8 is less than 10 which is true. So we are in a nested, nested else part where we update the value of t of bottom as h1 and t is equal to t of bottom. So now t points to 8 and h1 points to 13. Again h1 and h2 are not null. This time 30 is not less than 10. So we are in the else part. Flag is not 0. So we are in the else part of the else part that is nested else. And we update the value of t of bottom as h2. That is the bottom, bottom pointer of the node at 8 will point to the node 10. And then t is equal to t of bottom. So we update the value of t as t of bottom which will point to the node 10. And then increment the value of the pointer h2 as h2 of bottom. So h2 will point to the node 20. Again we check for the same condition where h1 and h2 are both not null and this time h1 of data is not less than h2 of data. So we are in a else part and again we do the same thing that is we update the value of t of bottom as h2 and t is equal to t of bottom. So t points to the node 20 and h2 will point to null. So again we check for the condition but this time the value of h2 is null therefore we exit the while loop we enter another while loop where the value of h1 is not null so we update the value of 
t of bottom as h1 so the bottom pointer of node 20 will point to 30 and then we update the value of t as t of bottom so t will be now pointed to 30 and we update the value of h1 as h1 of bottom so h1 will also point to null so again we check for the condition but this time h1 is null so we exit the while loop and we exit this while loop as well and we return h that is the head pointer of this updated linked list so our updated linked list will look somewhat like we have a sub linked list which will contain 5, 7, 8, 10, 20, 30. So this is in sorted order which is pointed by h1 so which is written by the function sorted merge and assigned to the node h1. So again we check for the condition whether if h1 of next is not equal to null that is phi does not point to null therefore again we update the value of h2 as h1 of next that is h2 points to 19 we point the next pointer of node 5 to 28 and again call the sorted merge function with the pointers at h1 and h2 again we are in a function sorted merge where we create variables h and t declare a flag variable and check for the condition whether if h1 and h2 both are not null this condition is true again we check whether if phi is less than 19 which is true and as well the value of flag is initially 0 so we update h and t to point to h1 and then we update h1 as h1 of bottom and update the value of flag as 1 again we keep on ch uh, checking the same condition that is h1 and h2 are not equal to null whether the data pointed by h1 is less than the value pointed by h2 which is true in this case so we update t of bottom as h1 and t is equal to t of bottom so we keep on doing this until we encounter a value which is not less than it that is h1 of data is not less than h2 of data so in this case h1 of data is not less than h2 of data so we are in a else part we update t of bottom as h2 that is the node 10 the bottom pointer of node 10 will now point to node 19 and t will be updated to 19 as well as h2 will be updated to h2 of bottom that is it will point to 22 and again we check for the same condition where h1 of data is less than h2 of data that is 20 is less than 22 therefore we update t of bottom as h1 that is the bottom pointer of 19 will point to 20 and t will be now pointed to 20 as, as well so h1 will be now pointed to h1 of bottom that is 30 again we check for the same condition uh, this time h1 of data is not less than h2 of data so we are in a else part we update t of bottom as h2 that is the bottom pointer of node 20 will now point to 22 and t will be also pointed to 22 as well as we update the value of h2 as h2 of bottom which will be now pointed to 50 again checking the same condition and this time h1 of data is less than h2 therefore the bottom pointer of the node 22 will point to 30 and t will be updated to the node 30 as well as we increment the value of h1 as h1 of bottom which will be pointed to null so this condition is false now because h1 is pointed to null therefore we exit the while loop and enter the next while loop where again h1 is null therefore this condition is not true so we see again another while loop where h2 is not equal to null therefore we update the value of t of bottom as h2 that is the node containing the value 30 the bottom pointer of that node will point to the node 50 and the value of t will be updated to that node that is t will point to 50 and we increment the value of h2 as h2 of next so now both h1 and h2 will be pointed to null so we are out of the while loop and return the head so now we get our updated link list as 5 7 8 10 19 20 22 30 50 this is one sub link list and we have another sub link list which is touch 28 so we check for the condition whether if h1 of next is not equal to null which is true we assign h2 as the second sub link list and then we make the next pointer of h1 to point to null which is h2 of next and again call the sorted merge function so this is the final call of the sorted merge function since we are left with just two sub link lists we create h, t and flag we check whether if h1 and h2 are both not null then we check whether if phi is less than 28 
which is true obviously and initially the value of lag is zero therefore we assign h and t to the node h1 and increment the value of h1 as h1 of bottom so again we keep on this doing this procedure until we encounter a node which is greater than uh, that is h1 of data is greater than h2 so finally we have reached a node that is h1 points to 30 and h2 points to 28 so h1 of data is not less than h2 of data so we are in a else part we update t of bottom as h2 that is the node 22 will now point to 28 and the value of t will be updated to 28 and then h2 will point to null so again we check for the same condition but since h2 uh, was pointed to null therefore we exit the while loop and we enter another while loop where we check whether if h1 is not equal to null since h1 is not equal to null therefore we update t of bottom as h1 that is the node 28 the bottom pointer of 28 will point to 30 and t will be updated to 30 and we increment the value of h1 to 50 and this will continue again and h1 will be now pointed to null so this condition fails we exit this while loop as well and finally return h so a final linked list will look somewhat like this where uh, we have assigned the value of h1 to the new linked list that is head of the new linked list and we check whether if h1 of next is not equal to null but in this case h1 of next is null therefore we exit the while loop and return our head pointer which is h1 so now let's have a look at our actual code the driver code is already given and we just need to complete the function flatten whose argument is the root of the linked list or head of the linked list so initially we check whether if root is equal to null if so we return null else we create two temporary head pointers which are head1 and head2 which are used to point to the sub linked list we point head1 to root then we have a while loop where we check whether if head1 of next is not equal to null that is for any sub linked list if we do not have any succeeding sub linked list then we exit the while loop else we assign head2 as head1 of next and we point the next pointer of head1 to the next pointer of head2 and call the sorted merge function with the arguments as head1 and head2 and the return value will be stored in the pointer head1 in the sorted merge function we declare two node, node pointers namely temp and head as well as an integer value called flag which is zero we have the while loop where we check whether if head1 and head2 are both not null and we check whether if the data pointed by head1 is less than data pointed to head2 uh, in that case we have the code written in the if part else we have the code in the else part in both the cases we first check whether if flag is equal to zero if so then in the first case we assign head and temp to head1 and in the second case we assign head and temp to head2 uh, in else part of the both the cases we make bottom pointer of temp to head1 similarly bottom pointer of temp to head2 and then temp is equal to temp of bottom which is same in both the cases and in the case one we increment or we update the value of head1 as head1 of bottom and in the second case head2 as head2 of bottom and initially since the value of flag is zero then we update the value of flag as one and after the while loop uh, there might be a case where the head head to pointer uh, will be null but head one is still not null in that case we have two separate while loops which check for that condition where if head one is not equal to null we we do the same procedure that is temp of bottom is equal to head one temp is equal to temp of bottom and head one is equal to head one of bottom the same is in case of this where instead of head one we have head two and finally we return the head so we can compile a code now since the co uh, compilation is successful we can submit it and our code got submitted successfully so if you found the video helpful do hit that like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more such upcoming videos on most of coding questions for interview preparations thank you